now we will discuss a few interview questions related to the profiles the first question is that uh, uh, is profile is mandatory for users yes uh, profile is uh, mandatory for uh, users how we can navigate to the profiles in salesforce so first we have to log into the salesforce uh, under the top uh, click on the gear icon uh, once you click on the gear icon uh, click on the setup once you click on this setup uh, under the user administration uh, under the administration you oh, click on this drop down once you click on this drop down we can access the profiles uh, here okay so another question is uh, can you give a list of uh, standard profiles uh, salesforce uh, will provide many profiles uh, by default uh, the major important profiles like a uh, system administrator standard user solution manager uh, read only profile and uh, marketing user so apart from that there are a lot of uh, profiles uh, provided by the salesforce uh, majorly system administrator is a major profile uh, which we use it uh, day by day can we give access to the workbench using profiles uh, yes so we can give the access to the workbench using the profiles so the next question is uh, what is the use of the profiles suppose uh, in an organization if we have a hundred users so for all the hundred users so if you want to give same set of access so in that case uh, we can achieve uh, these things using these profiles so uh, using this profile right so we can give access uh, on uh, salesforce objects like uh, create read edit delete view all all this type of access uh, we can give uh, using this profile we can uh, change password policies uh, using this profile uh, like uh, we can expire the password uh, for 90 days or 60 days or the password cannot expire we can do this type of changes uh, using this profile under tab settings uh, we can modify like uh, which tabs uh, can be uh, default open or we can off those things uh, under the tab settings uh, not only that we using these profiles we can uh, enable users to access the apex classes uh, custom settings uh, also uh, we can also give the field level uh, access uh, using these profiles uh, apart from that uh, we have a connected apps right we can give uh, access to the connected apps uh, using these profiles like uh, data loader uh, workbench and force.com ide so i will show you one by one like uh, i am just opening the profiles here so once uh, click down profiles uh, here we can see list of the standard profiles which are provided by the salesforce like a system administration uh, profile standard user profile and solution manager profiles so i will open the system administration profiles so we can control different type of page layouts under record types uh, field level securities here uh, connected apps under connected apps uh, we can give access for the, all the tabs so under connected apps we can give uh, force.com ide access we can give here say workbench access we can give we can also enable salesforce for outlook uh, which is a, a new feature and data related access and under tab settings we can give uh, which fields are a default available uh, we can give it 
uh, if you scroll down but uh, record types so suppose if you have 100 record uh, this is under record type settings also available uh, under the profiles uh, we will discuss uh, relate to the record types under another video so we can give uh, the major thing is like we can give read create edit delete uh, we all modify all access for the standard objects as well as the custom objects uh, here mm. just a check box uh, so regarding the password policies also we can control using these profiles like 90 days uh, okay we inline editing is not available okay once we click on edit uh, if you scroll down we can change the password like whether the password can be expired is 90 days 60 days or if you don't want to expire we can choose it as this so all this type of access so we can achieve using these profiles